Thanks, Chair. Uh, I welcome all the witnesses. Um, I'm from County Limerick. I'm councillor for six years, and then I got elected to the Dáil. I'm in construction all my life. Uh, would have elderly parents, God rest them. This is housing for all, housing for elderly. There's no infrastructure in Limerick to build any of the houses that, that, you're, dis that you're talking about building. So I'll just give you a brief synopsis of County Limerick. So at the moment, the government, or even Limerick City, the government can deliver 53 houses this year in Limerick City. They cannot deliver any houses in County Limerick at the moment because there is inadequate water. I can deliver 70 houses this year in Croom in County Limerick if I had water supply. I could deliver house and hospital, County Limerick, if I had a sewerage capacity, which does none. I could deliver house and a skating if I had sewerage capacity, which has been waiting for an upgrade for 40 years. Drum Culliher, 15 years waiting for sewerage supply. There's a fantastic housing for the elderly in Iglaca in County Limerick. Fantastic facility. I was down there many times myself, and I grew up around there. But there's no capacity to build more. Not everyone lives in the city. People live in County Limerick, in rural towns and villages, and in rural areas. But there is no infrastructure because of the failure of government, previous governments, from investing in infrastructure in the counties. So we're talking about housing for all. But everything that seems to be coming out of here is housing for cities. It's not coming for the counties. So if we're housing for all, it should be for all. So that means investment in infrastructure, in the likes of County Limerick, in County Cork, in County Waterford. Infrastructure is key. That's housing for all. So that's where I'd like to see inclusion done. Also, we have people in, in, that are living in the counties, in, in towns and in villages and rural areas, want to said, we'll sell our house and we'll downsize. Because there's, so we'll go, because there's no uh, infrastructure, we'll now buy a smaller site, we'll build a smaller house, and we'll, we'll be near the community. But the planning authority, if you have a house, you don't need a house. So you don't qualify to build a smaller house. Again, if you're a person in a rural area, you don't qualify because you can't get a second house because that's the planning laws. So if we're serious, and I welcome everything you can do, but I'm looking for your help for housing for all people, whether you're in a city or a county. The LDA is only giving uh, is only investing in infrastructure and housing within, in Limerick City, and unless you're within 15 minutes of the city. In the likes of Limerick, that knocks out two thirds of County Limerick. That knocks out Newcastle West, which is a population of uh, 4,000 or more. That knocks out Kilmallock, which is a population of 3,000. This, this needs to be assessed county by county. Not everyone is in a local authority house. And the biggest problem we have, we do not have the infrastructure to carry out the fantastic plans that you would have for housing for all elderly. That's, that is our problem. So what can you do to address that for me, for the people of County Limerick? Thank you. Thank you. I might address your downsizing point first, because that's an interesting one. Um, obviously, town centre first is quite focused on the rural, and I, I come at this from with a rural perspective myself, actually. Uh, so not a city, not a city person. And town centre first, obviously, is mentioned in housing for all. And one of the important parts of that is making sites available in the smaller towns and areas that people might want to move to. So I think that will facilitate one of your points there, that some people will want to sell that rural house, maybe move to the outskirts of a town where they have a little bit more access to infrastructure, like their primary care or their GP or their... Or their sorry, yeah. just, uh, sorry to cut a question. Uh, People are in small villages, there is no infrastructure. So if you're an elderly person, you've lived your whole life in a village or in a small town, there's no infrastructure for you to carry out what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Then what they're offering you is to move you 20 miles away where there is housing, uh, elderly housing. That takes people away from the lifetime of friends and family that they have around them. That doesn't address, and I do understand what you're saying, towns and villages. But not everyone, there's no infrastructure there for the towns and villages to carry out exactly what you want to do. And with all the greatest respect, I'm a rural person. I've lived outside of, of the villages and towns. I'm in a parish. 
there is 400, 396 people in our parish. Mm -hmm. There is no infrastructure within the village. I'll go, Banog, there's no infrastructure in Banog village. That's where I was born. Mm -hmm. But again, there's no infrastructure. I don't want to move or have people within my community to move 20 miles away because, but they've lost their whole network of people. They've not lost the people that went to Mass, they've met at the shop. That isn't House of Rock, and that isn't covering everyone in County Limerick. Yeah. What it, what's happening here is the towns and villages do not have the infrastructure. We've only got three towns in County Limerick that have infrastructure. The rest of them are gone. And if you talk about with the local authorities, they know this. And now they're only looking at the plans of where there is infrastructure that they're going, putting their plans in place. That again wipes out two thirds of County Limerick. Yeah. And that's where I need your help to highlight this to government. Sorry. Yeah. Well, to be on that infrastructure point, I suppose the point made about Irish Water did come through in some of the consultation that we did for Housing for All last year, and they're very much included as partners in developing housing for the future, and they're very key, along with the other electricity and, 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 and so on and so forth. What we have done is including them in our overall structures, so they come in and report regularly under the Housing for All governance uh, structure to the Public Sector Delivery Group, and they are making further provision for housing, and they're prioritising it in, in, in every way possible, I would say. And we are funding them adequately to do that, I would say. So I take your point that infrastructure is a serious difficulty, and for our department, our absolute ambition is to bring forward supply as quickly as possible. That's one of the key areas that we do need to tackle. So I think we have, have heard the message. We've delivered that message very firmly to Irish Water, who are very much collaborating with us to try and make a change. But it's perhaps not... Is running out. Sorry. Stroke, right? yeah. Did you know that the biggest polluter in this country is the local authorities? All the, all the surveys that were done, the biggest polluter in this country is our own local authorities because of the lack of infrastructure and the lack of funding from government and in investing in our, in our towns and villages in our areas.